Okay, so for episode number four, we're gonna keep it short and sweet, but it's gonna be about a couple of my favorite carbide chamfering tools and a hidden little gem of an American company called Bassett. Like a hound dog. See it right there? Them droopy ass ears just being a good old boy. But yeah, so in here I got a quarter inch, two flute carbide, and this is actually a double ended one. You can only see the one end sticking out if it'll focus because the other end is obviously up in the tool holder there but this is one of the tools that i primarily use on a daily basis holy shit i cannot focus on this for nothing okay that's there's a good angle right there but i mean i this one is probably one of my more worn out that focus 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 probably one of my most worn out chamfering tools because i've gone as far as to since it's a two flute, like I use it for a lot of shallow engraving even, which I probably shouldn't be doing. I don't, I haven't ever done any research into whether I should not do it for that, but I never had any specific engraving tools. And I know most engraving tools are one flute. And so the lowest uh, chamfering tool or anything I had close to that was a two flute. So I, I it kind of doubles as a chamfering tool and an engraving tool for me but it kicks ass like i said i use it on almost every single project that has to do with aluminum at least being a two flute and a plethora of products and prototypes of products that i'm designing okay so i originally discovered the hound dog company from purchasing this four flute half inch diameter solid carbide chamfer tool which you can see right here in my hand I primarily have used this for steel. I've had this for even longer than the one in the tool holder over there. So probably going on like a year and a half or so, but I had bought it on Amazon. I do believe it was the first chamfering tool that I ever purchased. And given that it was a, probably a year and a half or maybe even two years ago, I'm sure I paid a little bit less than this right now for it but it was probably around that same ballpark i would say around 34 dollars or so and uh here on this particular page for bassett you can see that they, you can get one in four flute uh 90 degrees and half inch quarter inch for a little cheaper and then they got three eighth as well right there but so once i got more into working with aluminum I wanted to get a chamfering tool that was two flute and I had discovered this, which is the one you see right there, this double ended two flute solid carbide from Bassett that was also available on Amazon. The only reason you ever hear me talking about Amazon is because before I realized that they sucked, I just happened to have already had an Amazon credit card. So I had money to fucking spend there. So if I can try and find some decent tooling from decent companies on there using that card, I'm going to try and send that money to the right people. You know what I'm saying? But so yeah, I came across this one. This was only uh, $30, this double end right there. And if you want to compare that, granted the flute number is different, but for the double end just costs about 10 more dollars than the single end uh, half inch tool, even though the flute count is different. And, uh, I've been happy with both of them, been real happy with both of them. Uh, like I said, I used the, this one right here because it just pretty much stays in the tool holder permanently because it gets used daily. Haven't had to use that thing down there in a while because I, like I said, I primarily work with aluminum currently or have been for the last little while. But this, I mean, like I said, they're one of the, you know, smaller companies out there that you don't hear about. You're probably not gonna find them in any like tooling magazines or anything like that. I did a little bit of Google and was able to find on this uh, cutting tool supply, uh, whoever they are, I don't think I ever bought anything from them, but they had a little bio about Bassett since they're obviously one of the dealers. Okay, so I'm not gonna read all this for you guys, but the biggest takeaways are that the Bassett Tool Company has been around for more than 45 years selling carbide tooling. They serve clients throughout North America and around the world and their manufacturing facility is based in Seneca, South Carolina. They go on to describe uh, the quality of their carbide compared to other brands carbides and a little bit about the bigger holding company that owns them. I haven't dug far deep into that. To, I'm just gonna fingers crossed hopefully that's also an American company but uh, 
I mean, they're quality stuff from a company that you probably never heard of unless you've just stumbled upon them like me. And so, you know, just kind of like I said, this whole series is about just putting stuff out there that maybe people have never tried or never heard of or, or questioning. And so if you look back in any of my other previous videos, if aluminum is being chamfered, it's done with this tool right here.